This is the isometric drawing on a um, 60-30 axis. You can see how this lines up with um, my plan drawing. Originally, I'm looking at this image and I'm trying to determine kind of the layout of the room and what I can tell from this. It's not a great image, but I thought it was a nice layout to kind of start to map out what to expect in this project. So what I did is I estimate the size of the room um, and then I draw it in plan. Um, and then, so you can see my initial lines for my plan. So all I needed to do really on this plan was to determine, you know, where my countertop was in, in my cabinetry, and then also this other feature, which is the um, built-in bathtub uh, whirlpool. Um, and the window and um, some of the framework, how the mirror is um, in correspondence with the room. All of this um, I can determine in my plan view, which is here. And then I rotate that to be on this my the correct axis. So I'm taking my T-square and I'm taking my triangle and I'm making sure that everything's lined up to where it needs to be. So then I can start to pull up my walls in accordance to this as well. Um, and then I'm just, I'm measuring, you know, I'm, I think I put my walls pretty tall. They're at like 12. Um, but that's kind of up to you, what you guys think that you want to do. And this is in quarter inch. The only thing that I'm measuring initially is my plan, kind of determining, you know, the, uh, the size of my room. I'm putting some things into that plan that are important, um, built-ins, and maybe you decide to put your bed in and your nightstands or whatever type of room that you've decided, but the features of the room, and then you start to kind of map out, you know, window coverings and small details, and um, I haven't put my sinks in yet, so I've redrawn it on my vellum to make sure that it's clear. My lines are better in this one. I can really see what's going on and what I want to play out in this. I've got my, um, my window coverings in already. And then now we're not working on scale at all really. So I'm just going to try to determine where my cabinetry breaks up maybe here. And according to my picture, my countertop is not very thick, so I'm not going to see a whole lot of that, but maybe I do want to reiterate a little bit more of a line in there. And then I see that I've got these double sinks that are above mount here. So they're going to be features that I put in um, according to how they like balance out in correspondence with um, the other things that I have going on. So first I'm just going to kind of estimate their size and break this up a little bit more. Um, I want things to be fairly proportionate to each other and that looks like I've got a good start on that and I know that the sink also does not come fully out to the countertop and it also has a little space behind it for our faucets and handles and on the back of the counter 
top. And now I'm just going to bring them up. I'm going to pull them up at a 90 degree angle. Not very high because I don't really know exactly how tall they are, but I imagine that they're not, you know, six inches off the countertop or anything. So I'm going to try to show about three inches. And again, I talk about this a lot, but this is just boxes, right? I'm just building a box according to my angles. And I want to have them align with each other. So on the lines that you can follow through, you can make sure that they're on the same plane. And now I can also tell that they're thick. They've got some depth here. So I want to give them some depth. And then same on this other side, all four corners. They need some depth. And again, I should have gotten this one first. So now, this is pretty quick, and I got my sinks in, right? Um, this whole drawing, figuring out my, um, and then, you know, that's all the kind the information we need about really, I mean, you could center these a little bit if you wanted to by X marks the spot, so take a straight edge and cross this in. That wasn't right. Corner to corner to get these guys. Um, the sink, the drain, um, centered. This is always a nice way to kind of make sure that that's happening. Um, but for me, this has taken, you know, some time to kind of figure out, um, I think it's been about an hour and a half. It's from image to, from picking out my image to getting it pulled up in this plan. And then, okay, so then I have all my centers here and and then my sinks aren't going to be, or my faucets aren't going to be terribly um, enormous or detailed. But I can just start to place those in there. And sometimes with these smaller items, I kind of just start them and then um, spill them out a little bit more as I go along and try to keep my lines. And then, you know, if I come into some trouble with it, I can't really tell exactly what type of sink it is. Um, but going with the style of this bathroom, I'm imagining they're pretty contemporary. And then I'm just going to pull the spout out as well out of each of these so that I can start to shape what these guys are going to look like. And again, I don't need a whole lot of detail with it. I just want to start there and then I can explain some things with my shade and shadow um, as I start to render this. Um, I do believe that I'm going to go ahead and render this one in pencil. And again, uh, it, this is up to you, um, the designer, whether, you know, which of your drawings you're going to do in pencil, which you're going to draw in pen and ink, and then also which are you going to do in color. Um, I think that it's a good idea to do this one first because then you have a layout, you have a plan drawing, and you have a pretty good concept of everything that's going on in the room. Um, even if you choose to omit 
part of it. You can do this at a two point, and then you can highlight maybe the sink area or the bath area when you do your one point perspective.